Hey guys, welcome to Prep Medic. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a review overview of the Air Wrap by Rev Medics. Um, I'm not too familiar with this product, but it was given to me by a friend, so we're gonna take a look at it and see what you think. So the air wrap is a compression dressing um, that's made by RevMedX, like I said before. Now this company is best known for manufacturing the XStat, which is that plunger device for packing junctional wounds um, that got a lot of hype in the EMS community not too long ago. So this is another product by them, a little bit older, several years old. Um, but I just wanted to take a look at it because I thought it was kind of interesting out of the bag. Now I'll preface all of this by saying I have seen no studies on this. I have no idea what the effectiveness is on this dressing. So if you guys know something of it or have had an experience, please leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from it. So this is kind of more of just my first impressions, playing around with it a little bit. It's already opened. I apologize. I got excited and I wasn't in a position to uh, operate the camera. So I opened it already. Um, so it's not really an unboxing for you. So on the wrapper, you'll see it's got some directions for use. Essentially, this is a uh, air bladder in a compression dressing that can be inflated to apply direct pressure to a wound. Um, it's also clear on the back, so if I didn't just take it out, you could see what the product looked like inside it. So when you take the product out, you have two components on it. Now, right away, that worries me a little bit because uh, in a high stress environment, you rip that open, this bulb gets lost or this, this gets lost, um, it's going to be bad news bears. You're not going to be able to uh, really use the device as it's intended. But assuming you're keeping your head, you have both of these, I'm still kind of intrigued. Let's take a look at it. So on its surface, it basically looks like an Israeli bandage with some plastic bits hanging out of it. As you undo the Velcro there, it has the stops just like an Israeli bandage. So if you um, slip, this isn't just going to fall to the floor. And then you have your air bladder here and it's this side up. So this side to the wound. Now you'll notice that on this wrap, there's no padding or anything that's gonna, um, I guess, absorb the blood or keep the blood from, from coming out kind of like you have on the Israeli, Israeli dressing. It shouldn't be that big of a deal because your main goal is pressure. You don't really want to just absorb all the blood. So I think this is probably okay. Um, and then this bladder. So just looking at this, you've got a Lurlock tip here and you've got a uh, bulb syringe similar to that on a uh, blood pressure cuff. So if we take this, we can insert that there and blow the bladder up. And then this actually has a valve on it so it can leak air there. And then they say that there is a um, ball that will pop up in here that tells you when you're at the max pressure and it's not applied so it might not even pop up. To release the air, you just undo that. Now it is worth noting that when you just take this off, it should just hold the air there. Um, but I don't know, I haven't really tested it to see if this will deflate over time or not. I know that's one of the big issues with say, using a blood pressure cuff as a tourniquet is they will deflate over time. Um, and it's not a good long-term option. So the way this is meant to be used is you're meant to take this and this is going to be what's directly over the injury. Now, I don't really see this as an, uh, anything that's gonna be applied to a distal extremity because in those environments, you're going to be throwing on a tourniquet. I suppose in the civilian world or the EMS world, if you've got something that's bleeding that the patient is doing, he, um, they're, they're doing okay, but they're not, uh, the bleeding isn't stopped by just a uh, regular bandage over it. I suppose you could try to apply this before a tourniquet, but really truly, if that's the case, you should just be applying a tourniquet to it. So where I see this being applied is more to junctional wounds, where you don't might not have time to hold that wound, that packing in for three minutes to make sure the bleeding stopped this might be a stand-in for that. However, you'll notice on the back, this is a pretty wide area, so it's not really pinpoint pressure that you're going to need in like an uh, arterial bleed or something. So I, I'm really not sure how that's going to work one way or the other. So like I was saying, you take this and this side up, this side to the injury, 
and you're going to apply that and then wrap around several times. And you know what, I'm just going to cut to some B-roll of me doing it because I can't do it to myself uh, very well uh, in this ambulance. So with that, you're going to apply it to your arm and you're going to wrap it uh, several times pretty tightly. And then you're going to insert the bulb syringe and inflate the bladder until the pop-up valve appears. And that's how you know you have enough pressure. Now it says right on the packaging that this is not a tourniquet. Uh, it should not include blood flow distal to the injury, so you should check a pulse afterwards. Um, and it, it does get pretty tight, so just be careful with it. Make sure you're using it as you're supposed to. Now, like I was saying before, there's no real studies out there on this. There's nothing that um, has shown that this is effective in any sort of environment. So I'd be curious to know how it works, but I probably won't be carrying this in my own kit until somebody can tell me a little bit more about the product. The XDAT, however, is a very interesting product, and I really hope to get my hands on that to show you guys um, in a future video, and we'll see where that goes. Thanks for watching, guys. That's all I have for you today. I know it was kind of a shorter video. If you like the content I'm putting out, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I really value the support, um, and then I love reading your comments. So anything and everything, leave them down below, and I will see you next week. Audio Jungle.